3D printing is a developing technology and uh, various research and development programs are uh, going on this field. So I was introduced to this subject uh, during my third year when I was uh, studying in uh, mechanical engineering. Then at that time I got a keen, a keen interest in this field. So I first researched uh, about this uh, topic through various books, uh, Google and various journals. Uh, so after uh, getting uh, enough knowledge, we discussed uh, our project with our uh, faculty guide. So they uh, showed us uh, previous year projects on a traditional uh, uh, Cartesian printer. Then they suggested us to uh, develop a different configuration model. So then we dis uh, finally decided to develop a model which is uh, of a delta configuration. So uh, it is uh, 3D printing is basically a process of uh, making a uh, making a 3D model using a CAD file. So we can make uh, any complex geometry shape or object by using this project. In the beginning, we started uh, with analysis uh, the problem that industries are facing right now. And after the analysis, we decide to made a Delta 3D printer. First, we understood uh, the working of the Delta 3D printer and uh, on the basis of that we built a, a bill of material which includes all the parts of the printer and its cost and then we jumped into the designing section uh, which was done in a solid works and then we gathered all the part of the printer and then assembled it and one last step was that uh, to install a uh, firmware into the arduino circuit arduino circuit is the brain of the uh, 3D printer and that's all. Uh, we, uh, we were ready to print uh, our first print. So during our project we faced few challenges which I would like to talk about. Firstly, we hardly had any knowledge regarding the 3D printing technology. However, we had some knowledge regarding the processes used in the 3D printer from the subject of uh, rapid prototyping and tooling which we studied in third year. Secondly, the gathering of the components was difficult considering the current pandemic situation. The other challenge that came upon us was uh, programming of firmware of 3D printer. I would, I would like to admit that without faculty, this project won't have uh, completed. Firstly, talking of Professor Simon Pfeiffer, who with his experience and research in the field of uh, 3D printing helped us in overcoming the problem of uh, coding and helped us in get our project going. Also, I would like to talk about uh, Professor Jignesh Patel, who is our internal guide. He, with his experience in the field of 3D printing, helped us uh, in getting the optimum parameters to print uh, the objects in the 3D printing machine. Nevertheless, I would like to talk about uh, Professor Dharmesh and Professor Srikanth, who helped us in getting the readings from UTM machine of ultimate strength of the of objects that we have prepared in from our 3D printing machine. My project helped us to solve some of the industrial problems and it also helped us to stand, stand a chance in this competitive world. It was a good experience completing my project as is uh, develop uh, new skills in our teammates like uh, G-code learning, software skills and many more. My, the journey was very beautiful as we came across uh, various innovation, innovative ideas and uh, spend some uh, quality time with our teammates and uh, also we had a chance to know our faculty members more through various interactive, interactive sessions. We faced some of the uh, hurdles during the completion of the project but uh, with the team efforts and faculty guidance we were finally able to complete the project. Indus University provides the first class research facility to the BTEC and MTEC students and also provides the lab testing and material testing uh, facility. Faculty of Indus University have their own expertise. They have been providing continuous uh, motivation and guidance to final year students to complete their projects. And students have completed their projects and also achieved their goals. Indus University have been organizing uh, various webinars on the research develop activities in engineering era.